So I just want to make a very short video and it's basically just my voice, but I'd like to talk about something that's been coming up. So yesterday I received a package in the mail that I did not order. And this happened six months ago and I just made an excuse for it. Oh, I must have ordered it a really long time ago and it got lost in the mail because I couldn't find any like documentation that I had ordered it. So yesterday I was like, wow, this is happening again. What is this? This is residue of another timeline. And then I talked to another a friend of mine who had something that she ordered and paid for and all documentation disappeared and also the item never showed up for Christmas. And I had another friend that that happened to as well. So I've had these conversations this morning and I think it's important that we know that timeline shifts are causing this like echo and their pieces of them are showing up in the timeline that we're in because timelines flip all day long. And that's how we create our own reality. That's how we know what time it is. Like there's so much there, but also some of our parallel lives are disappearing. And what does that mean? It means that those scenarios don't need to be played out anymore. So some of them are just going and it's important that we know that. Because you may have some kind of reveal show up for you where you're not trying to look, but the veil is kind of going at this point. And you may have a parallel life that is shown to you that disappears. And you might think it's going to affect this life. That's just happened. And I've had parallel lives disappear but I knew that I was looking. The thing that's happening now is the veil is going. There's like times when we're relaxed, when we can see through it without trying, without closing our eyes. And that's gonna get more and more and more prevalent. So be aware of it so that you don't scare yourself if it does happen. And these are usually times when you're in kind of a meditative state, which can happen while you're driving, can happen while you're falling asleep, it can happen while you're waking up. Um, those are times when you're in that theta state, if you're on a walk and you're kind of immersed in nature, it could happen then as well. So we are breaking through the veil and there will be an event where the veil gets broken through on a mass like um, scale, on a mass scale. But we have to know that don't react right away, just kind of look, you know, and ask yourself, is this a parallel life that I'm looking at? What am I looking at right now? Um, because we have shifted so many times that we're getting a little bit of interference um, and bleed over from other parallels. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this up because we will have a massive event where everybody sees something whatever it is that is best for them, for their veil to disappear, you know, they'll see something 
because the energy will support it at that point. And then also, um, there will be a massive collapse of the 3D systems. And that's going to look different to different people. If you're in the very low timelines and you've chose to be on the 3D Earth, that's not going to be a very pretty experience. Um, if you're in the middle and upper timelines, then you're going to experience it a lot differently. It might be a little more scary in the middle timelines because you won't know what's going on. But in the upper timelines, it's going to be party time. We're going to love it. We're going to be excited. We're going to know that we get to go and build and do and create. And those middle timelines will catch up to that over time when it's, you know, in their highest good. So I just wanted to get this message out there to you guys today. And I hope it helps as you begin to glimpse things through the veil. Because I'm sure it's already happening. So anyway, much love to you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.